guys, today I'm going to read you a story about the flying train. The flying train. It was such a cold night that Timmy and Nelly were put to bed early. Teddy and Dolly also slept beside them and Puppy and Kitty slept on the floor next to them. Later on, when everyone was fast asleep, Timmy was awakened by a strange sound. Woof! Cuff! Cuff! What was that noise? Timmy murmured, still half asleep. It's coming closer, he cried. Nelly and the others woke up at the sound of Timmy's voice. They all looked up towards the sound and saw an amazing sight. It's a flying train! Timmy and Nelly shouted at once. Come on, everybody! The train shouted. I will take you for a ride in the sky. All aboard! What? Everyone cried. A ride in the sky? How wonderful! Let's get in, let's get in! So Timmy, Nelly, Puppy, Kitty, Teddy and Dolly jumped into the train. Here we go! Woof, woof! Cuff, cuff! The train went flying through the air, coughing, hoofing, hooting and puffing smoke all along the way. It went away from the window. They went so high above the birds, and the birds watched the train fly by in wonder. They dipped their wings and waved at them over the clouds, under the clouds, and through the clouds the train went. It flew and flew and flew. Everybody aboard yelled and laughed with joy. Oh, it's so cold up in the sky, Dolly said, as she began to shiver. Still, the train flew up and up. It went through the misty clouds, further and further away. And suddenly, look, look, look over there, Teddy shouted. Oh, what is that, said Timmy. That must be fairyland, said Puppy. Oh, look, look, look over there, Dolly shouted. There are mountains of ice cream, rivers of honey, beautiful gardens, juicy fruits and such lovely fairies. Timmy, Nelly and the others couldn't wait, quite believe their eyes. They couldn't wait to get there, but the train was in a big hurry. It didn't want to stop. So on they went, right past the wonderful place, waving at the fairies. The fairies waved back as they flew on. Woof, woof! The flying train kept going. It went further and further into the sky. There, there, look over there, Timmy said. The stars are glittering all over the sky. Yes, said the stars. That's what we do. We glitter like the sun. We are all suns, as you must know. Oh, yes indeed. You are so beautiful, Timmy said. Timmy and the others waved at the stars as they flew on. Let's go and see the moon, said Teddy. Oh, there it is, cried Dolly. It's so beautiful. The moon is very big, isn't it? said Kitty. It's so strange. When we saw the moon from the ground, it was quite small, but look how big it is up here, Dolly yelled excitedly. And see how far we are from earth and how close we are to the moon. That's why we see it so big, said Tommy. The moon was reflecting the sunlight. Timmy, Nally and their friends waved goodbye to the moon and on they flew in the flying train. Oh, be careful, be careful, Nelly shouted. Here comes a big rain cloud. But the flying train would not listen. It was not afraid of anything at all. There, there, don't be scared, as the engine turned to calm its passengers. Grrr, the train crashed right into the rain clouds. Big water droplets splattered all around, leaving the friends wet and dripping, and a heavy downpour gusts from the smashed clouds. Oh no, Nelly yelled. All of them were soaked to the skin, but the train could not stop flying. It jigs jags all over the sky. Round and round the sky it went. Achoo! Nelly began sneezing. Soon everyone was sneezing. Achoo! Achoo! Oh! If mommy could see us, we could be scolded, said Nelly, looking around as if mommy was watching. The flying train flew faster and faster. 
What a hurry it seemed to be in. The wind became stronger as the train went faster still. Soon the earth was far below, so far that it was nothing but a small marble. Oh, what is that? Kitty shouted, pointing at the big reddish globe. That is a planet, said Nelly. Look, it's going around the sun. Poppy was amazed. Yes, yes, my teacher said the planets move around the sun, just like our Earth planet, said Nelly. Look, look, there are some strange people on the planet, Teddy said, pointing at the tiny creatures they could just make out on the planet. Oh, I know, it's the planet Mars, Timmy explained. We learned about it in school. Those are little grey people. And look at their flying saucer. Everyone looked at the planet, curious to see people from another world. Yes, we are the little people of Mars. You are more than welcome to visit our planet, said the little people, waving at the train. Timmy, Nally and the others would have loved to meet them, but the train was in such a hurry it couldn't wait. It hurried past the planet Mars and went further and further out into space. How big the sky is! The passengers cried. Unbelievable! There's no end! Look, look! The sun is rising! Let's go! Let's go! Let's see the sun! Poppy shouted. Oh, look how big the sun is! It's very hot! The sun is glowing like a ball of fire! Teddy whispered rather fearfully. No, no! We surely should not go any closer, Dolly said. It's burning hot. We can't even look at him. Mommy always says that it's not good to look at the sun directly. He looks very wicked. No, no, I'm not wicked, said the sun. I love you all. I'm the one who gives you light, warmth and so much more. Yes, of course, the sun gives us a lot, Timmy told the others. We can't live without the sun. He is very good to us. Seeing the sun, he suddenly remembered something. Oh, it's almost dawn. We have to get ready for school. Yes, yes, yes. We're going to be late for school, Nelly cried. Stop, stop, please. Timmy and Nelly both shouted at the train's engine. The train went on flying as if he didn't hear them. It was going round and round, further and further, all over the sky, laughing away. He was in such a hurry. What should we do? We are going to be late for school, said Nelly nervously. Let's jump, let's jump, let's jump off the train, Nelly explained. Yes, yes, let's jump off the train, said Poppy too. Then... Close your eyes. One, two, three. Timmy counted. Everybody jumped out of the train. To do. Oh, mommy, my legs. Oh, my arm. Ouch. Oh, ouch. Everybody was screaming. Just then, Timmy heard his mother's voice as if in a dream. Why, why are you making all these noises in the middle of the night? Have you had a bad dream? Mother asked. As she rushed into the room. Oh! Timmy woke up, rubbing his knees and elbows as if hurt, still shouting. Everybody else also woke up, as it a dream. Timmy murmured, looking around. Oh, Timmy! Everybody roared in laughter together. The End